Welcome everybody, I'm Sponky and today I got a keyboard for another review and this time we're going to review a 75% layout keyboard which is Yonzi AK84 and I believe that this keyboard, wait actually I'm holding this wrong way, but I think that this keyboard is pretty interesting and it has some unique Thing. so let's jump straight into the review of course in the box we're getting a keyboard and two more of accent keycap sets so basically <laughs> it's really nice to have and it's really nice addition so good job on this point also we've got a bright usb-c cable and a keycap puller and a switch puller with some extra switches now let's move on to what i believe is a little bit more important so i'm talking here about build quality and I must say that I'm impressed and disappointed in the same time. What I mean by that is, well, uh, we do have an aluminum top on the case and aluminum plate, but bottom of the keyboard is made out of the plastic. And yeah, I know we can't have everything in this price range, but I was expecting a little bit more of weight from this keyboard, especially when I met heavier keyboards made out of only plastic and which are a little bit cheaper so i don't know you guys could try to make your keyboard a little bit more heavy but these are only my thoughts expect that you get what you paid for or a little bit more due to that aluminum top also at the bottom there are placed rubber feet, and you can change typing angles without any problem now let's move on to the keycaps pbt plastic double shot so that's what you want for quality keycaps also we have some extra keycaps as i mentioned before so you can customize the look of your keyboard just a little bit just basically for free or maybe not that free because you paid 100 for this keyboard but well let's say it is for free if you go further we're gonna take a look on the switches and here as usual we're getting catherine switches and i'm not saying that it is bad there is nothing wrong with it expect that they're a little bit too common at least for my taste but don't mind me wrong they are really really good option for a budget switch for the switches i got gathering blocks which are more likely on heavier sided linear switch but it might be just coming to personal preference and if you will don't like them then there are plenty of options from Gatron to get this keyboard with however if switches will not fit into your taste then this keyboard has hot swap sockets which will make your life 10 times easier so if you don't know what hot swap socket actually is then these are sockets which don't require from you the soldering and soldering back your switches hot swap sockets make your life 10 times easier at least okay another part are stabilizers maybe yanzi should add a little bit more of loop inside of stabilizers just to make them a little bit more smoother but it's still acceptable and i will say that for this price range from a gaming company there's no chance to get at least comparable stabilizers um, at least i was not able to find stops like this in any keyboard maybe i got lucky maybe i don't i don't know but they feel okay maybe just could be a little bit more smooth and they sound a little bit mushy maybe you can hear of course you will hear a little rattling but it's not that bad i would say like when you try it actually and it's not that bad rgb yeah there is RGB. So yeah, we got a software included with this keyboard. So changing your RGB effects or creating macros won't be even a little problem if you will get used to the software. RGB, I would say, is bright enough and it looks good. I'm not that big fan of rainbow effects on keyboards, although I'm using this effect on some of my keyboards because I'm just a little bit too lazy to change RGB every single time on every of my keyboards but RGB there is and it's really really okay so everyone should be happy with using this keyboard for RGB and all that kind of stuff and overall what do I think about this keyboard I would say for $100 
it is really decent keyboard because we don't have that much of options when it comes to $100 and 75% layout keyboards. And yeah, they, there can be some better options, but, but they are different layout. 75% keyboard is 75% keyboard. It's not 60% keyboard. So if you're looking for 75% keyboard, I would say yes, it is good. And actually it looks unique for a stock keyboard, right? I will say that it is really looking a little bit more unique than the keyboards when compared to which you can find out mostly on this budget. So if you like this keyboard, then yeah, sure, get it. There's no problem with it. And I hope you guys will enjoy using this keyboard. And I also hope that you guys enjoyed this video because, well, it's the end of the review. I hope you guys, as a, <laughs> and once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, then make sure to leave a like to help me a little bit more with getting more views and all that kind of stuff. Make sure to leave a sub button if you still haven't. And well, basically, see you in another video or another review. Bye.